And hello again and welcome to today's Canton Charge Community Shoutout. I'm Scott Zarilla. Thanks for joining me. And it's a real pleasure to welcome into today's shoutout the Executive Director of Stark Fresh, Tom Phillips. Tom, thanks for joining me. How are you doing today? Pretty good. It's a, a nice, beautiful Thursday in Canton, Ohio. Excellent, excellent. Well, Tom, before we get into some of the questions, the thing I really want to talk about to, to begin with is for those folks that are tuning in right now and maybe aren't as familiar, tell me about and give me some background exactly what Stark Fresh is. Uh, so it depends who I'm speaking to. Usually we start with Stark Fresh is uh, one of the best kept secrets. No one knows about it. <laughs> We're a small nonprofit. We've been around um, in various forms since 1983, but uh, in the newest incarnation of it, um, Stark Fresh has been around since 2013. And our mission is to tackle the causes of hunger. We do that by creating realistic pathways out of poverty. We do it with a food spin. So our focus is on food access and everything that comes along with that. Um, basically all of our programming that we do either removes or reduces a barrier for someone to be able to um, access a way to get themselves out of a poverty or um, a hunger situation. So Tom, follow up with that. And you know, the today's society, and it's, it's even before the pandemic, the pandemic has just made everything worse. But you know, people that are looking for their next meal, such a challenge today. What are the challenges that the community faces when it comes to hunger and food accessibility? How do you try to help with that? So we take a little bit different approach than some other agencies. Um, if you look at, let's take Stark County as a whole, there are lots of different agencies working on different ways to deal with hunger and poverty. There's, it's a very uh, complicated and convoluted um, scenario. Um, and what we focus on is not necessarily the emergency food side of things. We work on some more of the systemic issues that are underlying how we came, how we have developed the situation that we're in now as far as poverty goes and where lots of people are in a hunger. So what are the, some of the biggest challenges that people face? Um, well, they're hungry <laughs> and they're in poverty. Stark County has, and especially Canton where we're located, Canton Alliance Maslin has very high rates of uh, poverty and food insecurity. And food insecurity is not a term that everybody understands, but food insecurity basically means that you're not exactly sure where your next meal is coming from. There's lots of different definitions. But that's an easy one for people to grasp. Um, and you may have seen some reports that came out recently with us being one of the highest child poverty uh, or child hunger rates um, in the country. Now, tell me about some of the programs that Stark Fresh is involved with or that you have initiated to help kind of bring an end to, or not, you'd like to bring an end to it, unfortunately, that's not gonna happen overnight, but something that we can do to maybe uh, make it so that it isn't such a major uh, a problem that it is today. Yeah, I mean, it's lots of baby steps, right? So lots of agencies working together, doing what they do well. Um, lots of organizations working together it helps whittle away at the problem. So we've got some uh, core programming that we do. The one that most people have found us with recently has been the opening of a nonprofit grocery store two and a half blocks from the main Sarda bus terminal here in Canton on the 321 Cherry Avenue Northeast. And the whole goal of that is, it was born out of, um, for seven years, we've been running a, a mobile version of a grocery store, or we call it our mobile grocery market. And day one, people said, hey, it'd be, it's great that you come and bring us food. And the whole goal of the mobile grocery market is, uh, to bring low income food to low income individuals who are usually um, have mobility challenges. So high rises, senior complexes, places like that. I said, it's so great that you come here once a week, but we need something we can go to every couple of days, right? Or a neighborhood grocery store, the way it used to be. And it took us uh, all this time to be able to do that. So the store that we opened is a model for what could be in every neighborhood. And it doesn't need to have 10 different types of peanut butter, we've got two. And that's a pretty good selection. Um, that's, a, that's something that a lot of people have found us on the mobile and the stationary grocery store. 
our food justice campus is where we have a bunch of other programming. We've got shared office space and um, a shared commercial kitchen that we run our food incubation center out of, which creates opportunities for people who wouldn't have the capital or the means to be able to start their own business to learn some business skills, partnering with other agencies, and then be able to use our space to be able to generate uh, money for themselves, right? So how do you get out of poverty? One way, food's a good portion, affordable food, but also to be able to generate some income. So we, we create opportunities that way as well. We've got all kinds of programming. We did, probably don't have enough time to go through it all, but those are some of the main ones. Uh, you can always find more on our website. Well, we're going to talk more about that in a moment, but I do want to jump back to the grocery store for just a moment, Tom, because, you know, today with the pandemic, we've all seen what's happened over the last eight, nine months, whatever it's been, mm -hmm. you know, people are losing their jobs. People's businesses are closing. And I found it fascinating that you opened up a grocery in these very challenging times. I mean, I think that really speaks to the focus and the objective of Starkfresh of what you're trying to, to accomplish in this very difficult time. Yeah, I mean, the way that we describe it to people, we're not just giving away food, it's a regular grocery store, right? So what we're trying to do is everyone has, a, everyone regardless of your income level has an amount of money that you have available to spend on food, right? Whether it's a lot or a little, you have a set aside amount. And if your food costs exceed the amount that you have allocated for that, then you're dipping into other funds to pay for things. Especially during these times, those funds are even less, yes, because people are out of jobs, hours are diminished, you know, there's a whole list of things. And so what we've always tried to do with any of our food retail programs, either on the mobile or the grocery store, is how do we stretch your dollars as far as we possibly can so we're not using up all of your available money and you've got extra left over to, to deal with those other expenses you have in your life. Sure. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a crazy, hey, we'll just open up a grocery store in a pandemic. That sounds like a great idea. You know? <laughs> but, well, in a lot of ways, it is a great idea because it really sounds like it's working and, and, and serving its purpose. Tom, two more quick ones before I let you go. First and foremost, you said about more information. Uh, give up that website again and how people can who needs some assistance, how they can uh, get in touch with you if they need something. Sure, anyone who has questions or ideas um, or wants to partner um, can reach us. Actually, anybody can reach us on our website, which is just starkfresh.org, like Stark County, um, starkfresh.org. Um, and we're on Instagram and Facebook and all those as well. Um, uh, Tom, are, are, can folks get involved with Stark Fresh in any way to maybe uh, give you assistance? Are you looking for volunteers or people that can become involved that maybe can help the people less fortunate than themselves? Yeah, volunteers are tough because of COVID. Um, as a mainly volunteer organization, that has probably been our biggest issue this year is how do we deal safely with our customers and our staff with volunteers. Um, there's lots of different ways to help. Um, what we say is if you're interested in helping, reach out and we'll have a discussion. So whether it's monetary, it's um, helping with volunteering or making connections, there's lots of different ways that people can help and they don't always think about them. Just reach out. Sure. Well, Tom Phillips, Executive Director of Stark Fresh, thank you so much for the time. We appreciate it. All the best moving forward and uh, we really appreciate everything that you're doing in the community. Happy holidays to you. You too. Thank you so much.